Well, technology has made human trafficking easier for bad actors. The Secretary of State's office says it's a global problem. Yeah, Vinay Simlad explains how the State Department is trying to fight the problem online. From a smartphone, communication has no borders. And the State Department says in a new report, human traffickers are taking advantage. Trafficking is the very definition of a problem that no one nation can solve alone. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says traffickers use dating apps and online ads to find victims. Encrypted messaging and virtual currency make it more difficult for law enforcement to trace it. It has created new opportunities for traffickers to exploit individuals for profit. And on those apps, organizations worldwide are trying to warn children and parents on how to avoid becoming a victim. Worldwide, the International Labor Organization estimates in 2021, 27.6 million people were in forced labor, 2.7 million more than 2016. The estimate includes 6.3 million people forced into sex work and 3.9 million in state-imposed labor. We have to work not only with governments, but along with the private sector. The State Department's report says traffickers take advantage of countries where they can find gaps or loopholes in the law. Unfortunately, some governments are part of the problem. The State Department identified 13 countries where the government funds trafficking. We encourage governments to prevent trafficking. The Secretary of State says investigators worldwide are trying to fight the traffickers online using artificial intelligence to detect trends. In Washington, I'm Vinay Simlot.